Thanks. Welcome uh, to my presentation uh, on science policy networking in geodesy and earth observation. So I'm giving this uh, presentation on behalf of Alison Craddock, uh, the director of external relations and Jose Rodriguez and Martin Sena. Unfortunately, Alison uh, is not able uh, to attend uh, this meeting. Uh, she is in, in New Zealand uh, participating in a United Nations ICG conference. Oh. No, it does not work. Just. So um, let's start with this uh, overview slide. Um, we all know uh, that uh, precise location is, is needed for uh, many, many applications and uh, even highest uh, accuracy is required for, for many uh, Earth research applications, like for, for instance, the monitoring of global mean sea level rise, uh, and uh, this can only be satisfied by international collaborations in geodesy. So in other words, global geodesy is dependent uh, on contributions from nations all around the globe. So no single uh, country can maintain the global terrestrial, uh, the global geodetic reference frame. And uh, in, in other words, so uh, collaborations with international partners are really important uh, to uh, reach uh, uh, important to reach uh, progress concerning uh, geodetic knowledge and capacity um, this uh, statement here making geodesy visible to those who depend on it clearly re uh, reflects the key mission of the external relations um, almost everyone uh, relies on geodesy. So if you use your smartphone for uh, positioning or navigation, you really depend on geodesy, but most people don't know about this. And so it's really an important issue to make geodesy more visible. And uh, this is reflected here on this slide. So uh, many uh, actions are undertaken and some some of the actions uh, are listed here are shown here in this view graph uh, to uh, improve the situation to ensure that geodesy is a visible valued and sustainable worldwide asset so proactive engagement with the earth uh, observations community is needed and also the advocation of the geospatial data promoting mm -hmm. infrastructure and also to identify geodetic contributions uh, for uh, international programs by the United Nations, for example, for the Sustainable Development Goals or for the Zendai Framework. And uh, so it's important to work with inter international uh, external partners uh, to make uh, geodesy more visible in the broader Earth observation community. Uh, you know this figure in principle from uh, the three pillars of geodesy, geometry, uh, gravity, and earth rotation uh, with the reference frame in the center. And a similar figure uh, can be shown for, for the uh, external uh, relations or for the science policy networking. So here we have three pillars, advocacy, visibility, and collaboration, and in, in the center you see IAP Figos. And uh, just a few words on this. Uh, concerning collaboration, you see uh, in bold human reference frame. So in, in geodesy, we know, we know that the reference frame is a linking element to link the geodetic work of all countries to a unified reference frame. And I like here the expression human here, because we need people to com communicate the value of geodesy 
to uh, to other people uh, so to make geodesy visible around the globe and co concerning visibility i have one example uh, this was uh, also mentioned by Elsie in previous meeting it's a report of the world meteorological organization from the last year and I have uh, taken here one uh, slide, uh, one figure of the global mean sea level rise, which uh, clearly uh, shows the increase of uh, sea level uh, rise from 2.2 millimeter uh, up to 4.6 millimeter for the last uh, 10 years uh, decade. Uh, the pity is that Geodesy is not mentioned in this report. Uh, the sources provided here, it's uh, mentioned that it's altimetry and also uh, provided by Aviso, but geodesy is not mentioned in this report. And uh, this is a pity due to the fact that geodesy provides the basis. So precise satellite orbits and uh, stable reference frames are prerequisite for reliably estimating uh, the mean sea level rise. And you heard about the essential geodetic variable. So GIGOS is wait, uh, working on the definition of this EGVs. And uh, the sea level is one of this essential variables. And we hope that with this essential geodetic variables, we can make geodesy more visible. And in this court context, it's also uh, important to mention that the sea level is uh, also defined as an essential climate and as an essential ocean variable, providing the, li the link to the other observing systems. And uh, so we uh, we hope that we can uh, advertise the Odyssey to external stakeholders with this essential geodetic variables. Uh, this slide. Uh, provide some information uh, about the activities which are done in uh, cooperation with the external stakeholders. And uh, some of them are listed here. So it's uh, the group on Earth observation, then it's uh, the geodesy for Dendai uh, framework within uh, GEO. It's the committee on Earth observation satellites, uh, UNGGRM subcommittee on geodesy and the newly established uh, Global Geodetic Center of Excellence and the uh, International Telecommunication Union Focus Group, uh, group on Artificial Intelligence for National Disaster Management. I don't want to go through all of these activities shown here, just to mention a few of them. So GIGOS uh, is, is, uh, represents the IAG uh, on the GEO program board and is uh, contributing, contributing to various working groups. Um, IAG GIGOS leads uh, the new GEO, GEO Zendai community activity. In this context, I uh, would like to, to mention uh, the GNS and GNSS enhanced uh, tsunami early warning uh, system, which was addressed also before the break uh, by, by Tim. And uh, then I would like to point out uh, concerning uh, the Global Geodetic Center of uh, Excellence, there's a very close col collaboration between uh, IAG GIGOS and, and the GVCE. And so the last item, the ITU focus group, uh, group uh, has successfully concluded uh, the work and is now transitioned to an ITU global initiative. This is really a great, a great step uh, forward. <clears throat> this is also quite a, a positive example. Uh, uh, from a report of uh, in the framework of the uh, Convention on Climate Change of the United Nations. Uh, so in this report, um, geodesy is, is explicitly uh, uh, mentioned in the section uh, 2.23, Global Navigation Satellite Systems and uh, Terrestrial Reference Frame. And here uh, concerning the Terrestrial Reference Frame, also the uh, United Nations re resolution on the GGIF is, is mentioned. So this is the right way forward to, to bring uh, geodesy in, in the focus for uh, 
the other Earth, Earth system uh, related in initiatives. Um, yeah, uh, I has, just have this uh, summary slide here because as you uh, have seen uh, in the uh, previous slides, uh, the tsunami early warning system was mentioned several times. Also the uh, artificial intelligence was mentioned. And uh, so uh, the work within the focus areas they provide Con, uh, important contributions um, to link geodesy with the other disciplines and uh, to make uh, geodesy more visible in the Earth uh, science community. And uh, also uh, geodetic uh, space weather research, research is uh, shown here uh, to, uh, to indicate here that there was a, a meeting last three days uh, explicitly on, on this topic, on the atmosphere. And so this is also a very important contribution because there is a link to, to many other disciplines. Now, uh, a slide on the collaboration with the United Nations Global Geodetic Center of Excellence. So there is a very uh, fruitful cooperation. We have uh, several common activities, uh, which I like to, to show here. So the first one is on the mapping of the global geodesy supply chain, where both Vigos bureaus contributed uh, together with the IAG services. Then there are common activities related to outreach. Uh, one example is the creation of a video on the terrestrial reference frame, which is shown here on the uh, bottom right. And uh, so GIGOS also contributed to uh, reports of the GCC and uh, as you can see in the joint development plan, there are numerous joint activities uh, of IAG GIGOS and the GCC. So uh, another uh, highlight I would like to mention is um, an event uh, which took place in the framework of the science, fin uh, science summit at the United Nations General Assembly just uh, two weeks ago, Africa rising, shaping our common uh, future through the geodesy. geodesy. And here uh, I would really uh, congratulate uh, Aleta and, and the colleagues, which you see here on this slide, who did an excellent job uh, promoting uh, geodesy also for Africa. Uh, Call for participation uh, for a very important topic uh, for uh, drought monitoring by combination of gravity and GNSS. Uh, potent, uh, potential collaborations uh, are, include here, for example, the Mediterranean uh, region and also uh, work within the group on Earth observation. And this is my uh, last slide. Uh, so please uh, contact us if uh, your product or research could benefit from engagement with other partners. And uh, earlier career colleagues uh, are uh, asked to uh, consider uh, joining our external communication efforts. So that's all. Thanks.